When people ask me about my headscarf, I, it, I don't think it gets annoying because I think it's good that they know because then they know how to respect the person that like whoever they meet after me and is wearing the headscarf, they automatically know why she's wearing it. What it means to be an American is freedom. I don't believe the American dream. I think it is hard to be an Asian in America today. Your Fellow Americans is a project asking questions about race, immigration, and the American dream. We're just trying to figure out what it means to be American for as many different folks as possible. In February of 2015, the Your Fellow Americans team visited the home of Altaf and Shaheen Malik, a Muslim American family who immigrated to the United States from India in 2007. We joined them and their family around the dinner table and on trips back and forth to their local mosque as we heard their thoughts on issues of race, immigration, and the American dream. It's going very well, but sometimes you feel that you are a person out of place somewhere in between people who don't want you to be here. You get that yeah. feeling sometimes, but just means when they come in close proximity with you and they get to know you, then they start to be good with you. Otherwise, from a distance, they think you are some different creature. It depends on the situation where I get asked about my hijab. Like at UMKC, there's just so many that wear the hijab that everyone just knows why we wear it, so I don't get questions on that. But if I'm like at an event that I'm the only one there wearing a hijab, then I do get asked a lot of questions. Hijab is a covering which is like covers your hairs and your upper part of your body so that your figure doesn't show up. It's basically that covering which is called a hijab. hijab uh, if you translate hijab, it's just a curtain. It means a curtain. So you are covering yourself to protect from others. So you are just trying to hide yourself behind that curtain. Like this lady stopped me in the parking lot and she was like, can I ask you something? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And she's like, why do you wear that? I, I was like, are you talking about my headscarf? And she's like, yes, why do you wear that? I see a lot of people wearing it and I just don't understand. And I'm like, it's, it's a part of my religion. It says in the Quran uh, that women should cover their, it doesn't specifically say the head, but their beauty. In Islam, females have a very high respect. So it's something like they try to protect the females in the society. So it's uh, like protecting yourself from the evil eyes of other people as well as guarding yourself also. I told her that and then she was like, she was like, so you look really pretty without your hijab. And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, um, I guess so. And she's like, but if you look pretty, why don't you just take it off? And I'm like, that's the point. You're supposed to hide your beauty so people judge you for who you are and not what you look like. And she's like, that's really interesting. And then she said, thank you, and laughed. I was like, OK. <laughs> so I just want people to know that we are not different. We are just in do, in following a belief which commands us to dress the way we dress. And we are just submitting ourselves to the will of our God. And that's why we want to make him happy our Creator happy and that's why we follow Him and we dress the way we dress. Where is the line drawn between honest curiosity and inconsiderate ogling when asking about religious customs? And how do you communicate genuine interests when awkward stereotypes are on the line? Let's talk about it. Comment below or visit kcpt.org slash yourfellowamericans.